Welcome back to the Star Telegram video. I'm Shereen Williams. This is Drew Davison and this is Clarence Hill. And I'd ask, are you ready for some football? But the real question is, are we ready to go home, boys? Absolutely. <laughs> Randy Gregory caught a punt today, so the Cowboys are headed home. We're not far behind them. So we thought we'd wrap up with this. An impressive player from this entire training camp, which is now day 31. Clarence, let's start with you. Well, it has to be the number one player on the team. That's Tony Romo. The fact that he got through camp healthy, injured, and strong for the first time in three years. Uh, Tony Romo felt good. He didn't. He took some days off, but he had, did not have any injury setbacks. Remember, two, the last two years, he's had to go through camp rehabbing back injury. So the fact that Tony Romo was healthy, was able to survive training camp for the first time in three years, that's a huge win for the Cowboys and a huge win for Tony Romo as he hopes to build on what he was, what was his best season last year. Sure. I have to go with the paper boy, Cole Beasley. He seemed unguardable at times in training camp. He had a great start to camp, and then, of course, he carried that through. Had a little Achilles injury, but, you know, only missed a day or two with that. So I thought Cole Beasley really showed that, you know, he's – mid-season form all, all camp. Well, you got to have somebody on defense. And for that, I'm going to go with the rookie, Randy Gregory, second round pick, 60th overall. And they think they've got a steal. And based on what he did in training camp in the two preseason games with two sacks and two games, I think maybe they did. He's been an excellent pass rusher. Of course, as we said, caught the punt today to end practice. So uh, he is a budding star for this defense. And they really need the pass rushing ability. Only 28 sacks last season. So he could help them and help yeah. them early. And not to be negative, the three – I guess to me, disappointing things at camp. Uh, they still don't know about the swing tackle with Darren Weems. There's a question there in case Tyron Smith or Doug Free goes down. Doug Free has been injured the last two years, and somebody's going to have to play tackle at some point. Uh, the loss of Orlando Scandrick uh, for the season. He was their best corner, the best slot guy, one of the best slot guys in the, uh, in the league. They have some guys, some depth that they think can replace it, but they can't replace his fiery demeanor and the edge it gives them on defense. And number four, not having, a, I guess, a solid foundation in middle linebacker. They're going to lose Rolando McClain for four games. Anthony Hitchens was hurt, and it's been a revolving door of middle linebacker throughout camp. So those are the three negative things uh, coming out of training camp. But, again, we're happy to go home. We're going home in the preseason game on Saturday. Minnesota Vikings, it will be the dress rehearsal for the season. See you then.